What is good, ladies and gents, comigos and comigas? Welcome to another installment of Let's Eat. Today we will be embarking on a three-part journey to find three good rib locations in all the Treasure Coast. Um, we are. I'm inspired, honestly, uh, by Nick. I don't know if you guys remember Nick in the first video. Uh, last week he told me that he's never had a good rib. Now y'all know what I'm talking about, right? That good fall off the bone rib. That kind of rib that makes you remember who you were with, what clothes you were wearing, what kind of drink you had. So today we're gonna start uh, the first installment of uh, this three-part adventure. And I can't wait for you guys to join us to see where exactly we go. Stay tuned. Oh, there he is, there he is. What's up, bro? He's cracking my shit, man, man. How you doing, bro? We are out here. You know what I'm saying? We're about to get some of these ribs. You feel me? They're not ready for us. They're about to get this money. Let's go. I got the, the steel cut, right? What's it called, right? The steel CD portion. It's two whole racks, you feel me? Some sweet potato fries, some coleslaw. What'd you get, bro? So you know I had to pull up on the chicken. I got the baby back ribs and the barbecue chicken. Sweet yes, potato and mac and cheese. Uh, I added the mac and cheese. Damn, all right. What's, what about you, bro? What'd you get? Uh, we split the steel city, because we're soft. Yeah. We're, we're soft. soft. <laughs> I mean, he's adding ketchup to his. You, what? Ketchup. No, no, no. Don't expose me like that. <laughs> All right, Joe. Uh, we are leaving the uh, restaurant. Um, let's recap. What y'all think about the restaurant? What y'all think about the food? Is the ribs good? All right. Since I have probably the most valuable take on this. This is Jordan speaking. He All thinks right. he's a, so, a rib connoisseur. Ribs taste good. Um, if you want kind of a vi vinegar-based barbecue, very thin, um, not very thick, not very heavy, um, good. I would say that if you didn't go with Lawrence's barbecue, rib size or the one that me and Nick split, it would be kind of pointless because I took down one full rack and wanted more. Just so people could have, you know, you had Jordan's perspective, you mm -hmm. know, the man who might as well be Gordon Ramsay. Pretty much. Come and on then, now. And then I'll, you can have my perspective, the opposite of Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> so um, I've never had ribs, but I mess with them. It's a good spot, you know, but uh, if you're a simple man like me, I'd say go for it. If you're not, still go for it. Thank you for your just uh, analytical mind, Nick. Yep. I also, appreciate don't it. go when you have vertigo. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the moment. You know? I couldn't eat the rib without like getting dizzy when oh, I dug good, my head down. Good, uh, good sweet tea. Great yeah. sweet tea. No, the sweet tea. Good, no, 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 don't do that, do that, do that. No, all right, no, look, no. I, I, I have experienced sweet tea from North Carolina, you know, homemade. And I can tell you something, the sweet tea at this restaurant was bomb. Okay. It, there was some there was some sugar particles in the corner of my mouth. That's, how, I, it, that's, that's okay. how I know it was good. You know? It's okay. Uh, Linda, the waitress, phenomenal. She did a good job. Uh, we were right? there for like two hours. Yeah, she did a good job. She kept on checking up I on us. Still... What about you, Sad? What you got to say, bro? Ginger ale was on point. Ginger ale dry. Says <laughs> <laughs> don't plug, don't plug. That's it. Let's say, <laughs> hey, let's say you have, let's say you have a burger and some fries. You eat the burger with the fries. You eat the oh fries. Oh my god! Actually, Jordan has been trying to change me for seven bite? years. Bro. It's, it's a burger bite, <laughs> two fries. What? Burger bite. Two to three fries. Let's get this right, everybody. You don't eat your. You know who it's, does that? Freaking psychopaths. They get cold. They get cold, bro. Yeah. How slow do you eat first. your freaking fries? How fast do you eat your burger? I eat one bite. <laughs> go. One bite. Go. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> my dad says that I do it because when I was younger, he used to just take my fries off my plate. So he said I started doing it to finish it before he would get all the. What's your <laughs> all the fries? 
it's cold. It gets cold. It does not get cold. It's what do you cold. mean? To me, it's just like, I, it's the first thing I want to start on. And so, like, so, the, the, so then the, all you eat is a sandwich. The burger, the burger is insulated with heat. You know, the patty is going to be hotter. What are you talking about? What if the mean? top layer of the fries get cold, the bottom doesn't. They get moist. No, they don't. Mm, yeah, Most the soggy fries covered by something that can't but that's that traps air. Yeah. When you eat burgers and fries, right? Do you eat the burger and fries together, or fries then burger, or burger then fries? Oh, you mean like keep things separate? Yeah. Like switch. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, so like she's, an adult. she's middle ground. <laughs> she's middle ground for us. Yeah. Yeah. Why you guys eat one thing and then go to they the next? They eat their yeah. fries, 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 and then they eat their burger like yeah. animals. Oh, but if you eat all the fries first, then a lot of times I'm too full and I can't eat the hamburger. Mm. That is a good point. That's your argument, though. Right, it's not. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you guys like that video, why don't you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Keep an eye out for the next adventure. See y'all later. Peace.